Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the equal area criteria, which is required to study the transient stability of the power system. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture, we have discussed the transient stability of the power system. There, I told you that we don't have any general criteria to decide for the transient stability of the power system as the swing equation of the synchronous machine is a nonlinear differential equation it is difficult to solve that nonlinear differential equation so that is why we are not able to obtain the general criteria for the transient stability of the power system okay but here with the help of this equal area criteria this equal area criteria will help us to describe the transient stability of the system without solving the swing equation but by utilizing the area under the power angle curve okay so this equal area criteria it is this criteria describe the transient stability of the power system of the system without solving swing equation but by utilizing the area under power angle curve Okay, so let us see how we can obtain or how we can describe the transient stability without solving the swing equation. See, we have the swing equation for the power system, for the machine. Okay. See here, we are going to consider a single machine connected to the infinite bus. Okay, again, if suppose if we, uh, if we are having a two machine system or a multi machine system, then uh, it will be uh, difficult uh, to describe the transient stability okay so for the simplification what we have to assume is we have to assume a single machine a single synchronous machine connected to infinite bus okay so now when the single machine is connected to the infinite bus we will have the swing equation as m into d square delta by dt square is equal to this one the accelerating power okay now again this accelerating power uh, we can write this swing equation as in terms of mechanical and electrical power as it is equal to pm minus pe okay now as we discussed in the transient stability that with the help of the uh, swing curve we came to know that if on the swing curve at any time after following the large disturbances if we get this condition if we get this condition that is the rate of change of the rotor angle if it becomes zero then we can say that that system uh, will be stable for that large disturbances okay so that is this uh, let us try to uh, get this with the help of this swing equation okay without solving this swing equation let us try to obtain this condition okay so here to obtain this condition let me multiply uh, this swing equation on the both side with the 2d delta by dt okay so here let us multiply with 2 d delta by dt on both sides okay once we multiply on the both sides we will get here as 2 d delta by dt into m into d square delta 
by dt square is equal to again we have here 2 d delta by dt into pm minus pe okay uh, let, let's take this m constant out here okay uh, writing this m on this side this will become 2 d delta by dt into d square delta by dt square is equal to 2 pm minus pe into d delta by dt okay now you just observe this term okay if you observe this term it will be you see it will be you will get here m into d by dt of d delta by dt bracket square okay you just differentiate this and you just check okay it will be since this is square so 2 will come here so d by dt of this will come okay again we have to take the differentiation of that okay so by that way we will add again get the same thing okay here 2 into pm minus pe d delta by dt okay now you see on both sides we are taking differentiation with respect to time okay so we can cancel this out and uh, with that we will obtain a equation as d of d by dt or d delta by dt bracket square is equal to let me shift that m on that side 2 by m it will become into bracket will be pm minus p into d delta on d okay now let us integrate with their limits okay integrate on both side okay so let us take the integration here it will be integration it will be from 0 to let me write the limits by other color 0 to d delta by dt bracket square here inside we will have the same thing d of d delta by dt bracket square is equal to again integration 2 by m here pe pm minus pe d delta okay here limits will be d naught that is the initial rotor angle and dm okay that will be the dm you can take or simply you can take the do as well okay on this integration let us solve this integration for this side for this lhs side okay since this d and this integration will uh, if you solve we will get here we have to apply this limit okay if i apply this limit so here we will get d by dt of this del bracket square that is upper limit minus 0 that is the lower limit is equal to integration 2 by m into pm minus p into this d of delta okay now again it is with the limits as d naught and del okay so here for this for this uh, see this d delta by dt as here the square is there so i'll take the square root so we will get here as is equal to square root of integration d naught d limit from d naught to d 2 by m in bracket pm minus pe d delta okay so now from the string curve we obtain that for the transient stability what is the condition the condition was this d delta by dt it should be equal to zero this was the condition so let us apply this condition for this equation okay if i apply this condition on this equation i will get here as this square root of 
integration over d naught to d 2 by m pm minus pe into d delta will be equal to 0 okay as it is equal to 0 so i can cancel out this square root so here we will get integration over d 0 to d again you see this uh, 2 by m is a constant term okay I, we can take it out from the integration if i shift on that side it will become zero so simply we are getting pm minus pe d delta it will be equal to zero okay more specifically i can write it as integration over d naught to d pm d delta is equal to integration d naught to d p a d delta it should be equal to zero okay now you see that this is this one gives the area okay under the power angle curve okay and this is also will indicate the area under the power angle curve now it is pm and pa now it depends upon the disturbances it will act as an area under acceleration and this may act as an area under de, uh, deacceleration okay so what this equal area criteria state that we will get this condition that is the rate of change of rotor angle it will be zero when it will be zero when the area under uh, the power angle curve that is the accelerating area that is a positive area is equal to negative area that is the decelerating area if both the areas are same then we can say that the system is stable for transient stability okay so here we can conclude it as the condition for transient stability okay we can state it as when it will be equal when the area we can say accelerating area or we can also say positive area is equal to decelerating area or negative area under power angle curve okay if we get this condition on the power angle curve that is the areas are coming equal so from this only we get the name equal area criteria if these two areas are equal then we can say that the system is stable for the transient stability okay or we can say that the system is stable for the large disturbances okay in the next lecture we will see when the system is subjected to the sudden change okay either it may be a change in the uh, load or it may be a change in the mechanical power we'll see we will analyze how the system will behave and we'll see how to obtain the condition for the transient stability in that case using the same uh, concept that is the equal area criteria okay thank you very much